Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from painlessfinanciallearning.ca. Today being December 29th means that many people are within a couple days of their year end. If your business is not incorporated, then you have a December 31st year end. If your business is incorporated, it is very likely you still have a December 31st year end because it's a very popular choice. So what do you have to do? We well, have to understand cutoff. We have to cut off the transactions that belong in 2015 on December 31st. So you should do all the bills to your customers that work that relate to work that you did in the 2015 year. You should make sure no 2016 transactions are in your 2015 year. You should balance your bank account. You should count your inventory. Inventory counts is particularly important because you can't fake that later on. You need to know what you had in stock on December 31st and you got to count it pretty close to December 31st. If you keep a mileage log, then you need to get your odometer reading on December 31st or early on January 1st. So think about that. Think about the concept of cutoff. Stuff that belongs in 2015 has to be in your 2015 books. Stuff for 2016, you've got time. You should wait on that. So thanks very much for listening, and we wish you and yours a happy and prosperous 2016.